guys. How are you? I am so freaking excited. Um, I put out a video earlier today and it was kind of on the whim. Um, I wasn't expecting to put it out. Here, let me move because I am right near a um, fan and it's bugging me. Okay, so I put out this video and it was on the whim earlier today. And the reason I did that is because, look, you can still see the fan. <laughs> oh, well, who cares? Okay, so the reason I did that is because how many times is it that you do things um, or think of things and you're like in the shower or you're somewhere where, you know, you can't really deliver the information and I have such a wealth of knowledge and information to share that, to be quite honest, I was scared to frickin' death to share because I thought, oh, if I share this, my daughter's going to not get the services she needs. And I was really selfish in um, sharing what I knew because of fear that others had put in me that I would lose um, services that I had had for her. Well, needless to say, I was, and they were so, so, so wrong. And I have to honestly publicly apologize for not sharing this information with you because it has been 12 years in the making. Um, I have, I believe, nailed my daughter's IEP, how to work with the team and how to get my child and now help you, your children, what they need, what's appropriate, and um, all the freaking services that they could possibly get based off their needs and really helping you nail this IEP. So anyway, earlier today, I made this 30 minute video. It is 30 minutes, so parents, put it on and go cook dinner or do whatever it is you're gonna do, but just hear me because it is, awesome. I re-listened to it and I'm not trying to brag, but it is freaking awesome. And the reason it's awesome is because not only does it come from the heart and from experience, but I take you back to the beginning. And even if you already have an IEP for your child, I tell you what can be done now even with having something in place that you possibly are unhappy with or that you don't know you should be unhappy with and you should if it's not suiting your child's needs and is appropriate for them, okay? Does that make sense? So what I do is I take you through um, what you need to do in the beginning stages of a child with needs that need to be met in an IEP with any type of special need, okay? People think special needs is specifically, you know, my child has autism, which is why I'm called Autism Mama Rocks IEP. But I'm speaking to every single parent out there who has a child with special needs because any child out there who has special needs has an IEP. Or if they don't, they should, and I need to help you do that because you should not have a child with special needs and them be in the school system and not have an IEP. Okay, some kids have what's called a 504, but I highly suggest an IEP and how you can actually transform from going from that 504 to an IEP. And an IEP is a legal, legal, legal document that the school system has to adhere to, and if they don't, they can be reported to the state, which I have done multiple times and it has been founded. Um, not that you want to do that, however, um, if the need arises and they're not adhering to your child's IEP, you most definitely do it. I mean, if you're anything like me, um, you're a go-getter and you're wanting to get what's needed and appropriate for your child. And if they don't adhere to that, if it's not going to get out there and be knowledgeable to the state or anybody else, if you don't make a complaint, you, you ha it's kind of like if you shut up, then all the other kids that they don't listen to their IEPs suffer because you couldn't open your mouth and say something. I feel like you've got to open your mouth. When it comes to your kids, you know, I tell people, you can do whatever you want to me. You can say whatever you want about me. More power to you. Everybody's got an opinion. I'm cool with that. However, you mess with my kids, that's an issue, right? Don't you, many of you feel that way? So what I'm saying is when it comes to your children, be a pit bull. Be, I shouldn't say pit bull because I like pit bulls. So just be at somebody in their face and all about, 
getting what's needed and appropriate for your child. Now, don't take this wrong. Sometimes you don't have to be in somebody's face. Sometimes you don't have to be nasty or come across as I'm a no bullshitter. This is what's going to happen. You're going to abide by the laws of the state or of your state, but special needs laws is all over. So it's not just your state, it's all over. So um, you really just need to make sure that whatever it is you're doing, that the school system is adhering to what's needed and appropriate for your child and, and your child's IEP. And if you don't have one, that's what I'm here for too. So go to Autism Mama Rocks the IEP. I'm posting this video in about five minutes. It's still downloading. <laughs> First time working with iMovie, do not laugh. But I think it looks pretty cool. But honestly, what it's about is the content that I'm delivering, which is right on. Okay, and what I'm talking about in this 30 minute video, and a lot of my videos, I want to say could be five, 10 minutes. But honestly, when it comes to your child's IEP and the things that I need to talk about to get out to you to give you the information that you need, it's not going to take five, 10 minutes most of the time. Okay, and I have an awesome team and they are going to be setting up for me on Facebook an event for you so that you know when I'm going to go live always at the same time once a week. But I am going to be going live a lot more on Autism Mama Rocks the IEP so that you guys know what I'm about, what I'm going to deliver, and why you need to follow this and buy the course because it is going to be spot on on what you need to do to nail this IEP. I'm getting ready to um, make a freebie for you, which is going to be the three biggest mistakes parents make when it comes to their child's IEP. I'm super excited about it. It's going to be a PowerPoint presentation, but on a Zoom webinar, so you can still see my face, you know, live, etc. But um, I wanted to do a PowerPoint, so you had the visual, but then you still had me in the picture frame so that you can I just think that when you see somebody's body language and how they're talking, you know, you you can tell more um, on, you know, where they're coming from, if it's from the heart, if it's, you know, natural, you know what I mean? I just feel like if I see somebody in their body language, I can relate better to that than if I just heard somebody auditory. Now, one thing I want to say, okay, before I jump off here, um, I am trying to make this video 10 minutes. So um, I want you to run over to Autism Mama Rocks the IEP. I think I put the link above. Um, but what I want you to do is post below, number one, if you have a child with an IEP, and a number two, if you don't have a child with an IEP, but they need one, or you think they may need one, okay? So I want you to do that for me and post below. And I want you to hop over to Autism Mama Rocks the IEP so you can watch this video. And then I want you to post below the video what you think, what experiences you may have had, um, how that video helped you, because that's just going to help me get better in delivering information to you. Or maybe I forgot something and you guys can post below what you think maybe I forgot and I can add that for you so that I give you information in that area that you're really needing help. So don't be afraid to post below your thoughts, opinions, etc. Don't get into so much um, children. You know, I'm really trying to steer clear of, you know, anything when it comes to opinions about immunizations or opinions about how your child, you know, got the disability. I want to know that if I'm in a consult with you, but on Facebook and social media, you don't need to post that on my page or, you know, offer personal information like that. Um, I'm not getting involved in anything when it comes to um, children and just thought processes and why is their behavior like this? You know, I can answer those questions, but it's just not something I'm, I'm, I'm doing right now as far as what I'm about. What I'm about is strictly the educational setting setting up your child's IEP in the most appropriate manner, learning how to run the IEP as if you own it and you're the top dog, and really knowing how to run it in an appropriate way so that you and the team can work together, but also not being afraid to fire people on your team, which I go into that on my video that's going to be posted, and why you should fire people on your IEP team if necessary. and. Um, 
you know, all these things that I'm going to be talking about when it comes to the educational setting and getting your child what is most appropriate for them and what is most needed for them. Try to steer clear parents of a lot of noise, okay? If you go on a lot of autism sites, which I'm on, and I love them to death, I love the fact that parents work together and they talk together and they support each other and so forth. But what you need to steer clear of and hearing and digesting so much is comparing your child to other children. Now, if you hear something like, my kid's doing this, and you know, is that normal? Is your child doing that? Almost trying to validate why your kid's doing it. Stop doing that, okay? Stop comparing your child to other people. I always go back and say, remember when you were pregnant and people would say, oh yeah, when I was pregnant, I did this, that, the other, I did, I went through this, that, and the other, and our pregnancies are totally different, people. Our kids are totally different. Now, they may have like behaviors, but that doesn't mean that behavior is triggered by the same thing, right? So each child is different, and you have to accept them for the unique person that they are and realize that their IEP is going to be laid out, or I'm going to help you lay out your child's IEP, how it should be for your child, not for somebody else's child, not for your neighbor's child, not for your, your sister's child, your brother's child, etc. for your specific child based on their needs and hopefully meeting them and getting them all the possible services out there that your child can get. And another thing I want to add that's super important is knowing that the school system has to pay for what's needed and appropriate for your specific child if that's put into the IEP. It's not paid for by the parent or private insurance and so forth. Now, I go into detail on what you do may or have to pay, um, if that even made sense. Um, and there are out-of-pocket expenses sometimes in the very beginning. But once that IEP is in place and flowing, um, the needs that need to be met for that child and the services that are put into your child's IEP are covered by the school system. Even if, like my child, I have speech therapy come in from the outside, they're not, they're contracted out. They're not specifically hired by the school system. They are their own business that are contracted into um, and able to come into the school system. The school, um, schools don't like to do that because it costs them extra money. Um, I go into the politics. I go into so much. Oh, my God. It's crazy. I have so much information that sometimes you guys have to pace me because I have so much to offer and I have to stay focused. So I write things down a lot of what I need to do and um, I, I'm trying to stay focused so that I deliver the best way possible. So head over to Autism Mama Rocks the IEP. The video is specific to the beginning and what you need to do to get your child um, basically diagnosed um, with whatever special need it is, if at all possible who you go to, and what you need to request from them before you walk out of their office. And then how you set up the IEP meeting and who should be on your team. So this is mostly about who should be on your team and how you go about in the beginning getting them there, okay? And who you actually need to initially email to get that um, going and making that happen. And knowing the time frame in which they have to adhere to to make that happen for you and your child. And then you have that time frame to prepare and get going, okay? So I put that video out there. There'll be another video tomorrow, and I will give you a little teaser like I am now of what's gonna be put out there. But definitely, if you know a child with special needs or you know somebody or a family member or you're or a parent or a grandparent or whatever of a child with special needs, you gotta listen to this, okay? If, if you don't buy my course, that's totally fine. If I give you information that's going to help your child, that's what I'm here for. Um, and the more people I can help with this, the better. I've withheld this information for so long. I am trying not to throw up all over you. Um, so again, head over to Autism Mama Rocks the IEP. I hope you enjoy the video. Make sure you post below on this video, number one, if you already have an IEP in place, or number two, if you're brand new and you don't have an IEP at all and your child needs an IEP or you think they need an IEP or you're guessing they need an IEP or you just don't know but your gut tells you something's not right, um, post a one below. Then head over to Autism Mama Rocks the IEP. 
listen to the video and post below that video what your thoughts are. What do you think maybe I missed that I got into a tangent and I need to add? Or if you have questions, post them below too, and I'll be sure to answer them for you. So I'll talk to you guys soon. Make sure to head over to Autism Mama Rocks. I, I can't even say it, y'all. Autism Mama Rocks IEP. I've been on videos all day, Zoom videos, um, because my course is hopefully going to be launching the third week of September to not have you guys get into so much of the school system that you can't knock this out of the park um, before October, November. And that's actually, you know, a really good time to start knocking it out. If you want to consult with me privately, um, message me privately and we can talk about that and um, we'll go from there. And I hope you guys enjoy. I hope this gives you guys a lot of information and make sure to share the video if you like it and you feel that it could be um, of help to somebody else as well. Thanks so much. I'll talk to you guys later.